Good morning and welcome back to another video. Let's do the morning and night routine. Let's go. So I am filming this slightly later on in the morning because I've had a Zoom call this morning, which was for dance, so it probably wasn't the best idea to be filming a morning routine and then going to a Zoom call because I just would have been like, like it would the Zoom call then wouldn't have happened because me and filming, it just doesn't really go very well. I seem to ramble on, which I'm doing now. So I have just quickly jumped back into bed to kind of like, not fake it because I haven't done my morning routine. I've literally jumped on that call and I haven't done anything else. Um, just, just chilling. So I, I have just jumped back into bed just to film this intro, um, but let's get going with the morning routine. If it was an 8.45 class, I'd normally be getting up about 6.45 because I've had the class eight, it's currently 10 o'clock, the class side. 8.45 so yeah it'd normally be about 6.30 at the time I'm getting up but for filming purposes it's just not not 6.45 this morning so the thing that I normally do is I always have a big glass of water which I normally have on standby um but as you can tell I've already bloody drunk it um and then I just don't really know if I want to show my colour wheel show your colour wheel this is my colour wheel it looks dodgy but basically it has my pill in and then i use these hair burst hair supplements and i love them so much so i take two of those every morning i've also got some my vitamins coming because i really want to start taking collagen because my skin is aging it is aging and i'm scared so i have my glass of water and i have them and then i get going it's cute it looks like a little old person's i don't know old person's little box but i just love it i think it's so freaking cute also guys i have so much to tell you about this product skin and me is kindly sponsoring this video so make sure to continue watching so you get to know a little bit more about this because oh my god you are going to want to know as well as i will also share my code with you so i always do like morning skincare first i love this lighting so much this will involve like a really simple cleanser and a moisturizer very simple in the morning because i'm always rushing around in the morning to get out the door silk scrunchies till the day i die i'm so scared about getting really thin hair because my hair just doesn't stop falling out i don't know whether it's stress or god knows what but i'm so i don't know what the word is like i'm so high maintenance with my hair because i'm just i just want to keep it healthy and yes i do dye my hair which i probably oh my god i actually can't i need to like do this but i haven't done it for the past few months because I'm just so scared about like hair falling out and snapping. <laughs> products that i do love make sure to watch i did a weekly vlog and i think it's like let's get real i think that's the title of that one and um, where it's very like in depth towards the skincare section <laughs> This is looking like a very random place to get ready because obviously I'm sat in the floor of my living room. But I switch kind of between getting ready out here and getting ready in the bathroom. Just in terms of lighting, you've seen the lighting in the bathroom. It's not amazing, so I'm out here. Normally, I am literally sneaking around. That's also why I couldn't film it at like 6.45 this morning because Jed wouldn't have been too happy with me. I also tend to bring out like, say I'm going to dance, I'll bring out like my dance clothes into the living room and I'll just go change the bathroom because it just saves me stumbling around in the bedroom. Which normally I'll prepare my dance outfit, which I'll see you'll see tonight um in the evening for the next morning and then yeah obviously depending on which day we are going on i'll either be getting ready for dance or i'll be getting ready for a normal day which like on a normal day i do tend to do like a full face of makeup um just doing what i do i just prefer to look presentable and i do feel my best when i have got makeup on because insecurities so i'm just doing like a really light makeup for dance which literally involves a little bit of bronzer, concealer, and I fill my eyebrows in and I'm good to go. I'm so sad, this is like my favorite stick ever and it's basically next to nil. And there we have it, that is actually all I do with my face in the morning. But for me, it makes such a huge difference. It just really like, I don't know why I feel like I've done nothing, but I've done 
a lot at the same time but you might be a bit like Imogen you and literally going to dance you're sweating it off like why are you putting it on but it does just genuinely make you feel better and I do believe in just do what makes you feel good like even if people are like oh my god like why is she wearing makeup I've barely got anything on it makes me feel better and I feel like especially with dance if you don't feel good in yourself it is a bit of a struggle to then dance and dance in front of people it's a bit of a mind game um but yeah breakfast time also forgot to mention if you did want a lowdown on the products that i did just use um nyx brow pencil i think this is the micro brow pencil i love these i also like the um is it the makeup revolution do a really good precise brow this is slightly a bit warm for the shade of my eyebrows but i've just been using it until it runs out and i'll get a new one in the correct well more correct shade like this is fine and then i use the fit me concealer from maybelline which i absolutely love but one i have also been loving is the L'Oreal concealer I love this so so much but that is like more full coverage whereas this one is a bit just like whack it on or whatever and then it was the Clinique chubby stick which I love so much but that one is a bit like I think it, I think it, that one is quite expensive so that's the thing like I love it but I don't know if I want to pay that price again so that's why I'm really sad that it's now run out my breakfast is very boring it is normally oats or like a bagel of some kind um which I will then now put into the microwave three minutes chuck some berries on there as well as a scoop of nutella because i just can't help myself i love sweet things in the morning as well as a big cup of tea but i'm not gonna lie i've already had my cup of tea this morning because i had it with my zoom call and it was in desperate need of it so yeah it's just the porridge for now i love switching my breakfast up of a weekend but when we are talking about in the week getting to dance college a bowl of porridge is just like what i need because it's so like filling and like it is a little bit stodgy but like I know that something's in my stomach and it's gonna last me um two lessons until I get to lunch I normally have like a snack in between but yeah it is just like such a good breakfast and then on the weekend I'll have something a bit more fun like I say fun um like a bagel I love cinnamon and raisin bagels oh my god they're so good but again I don't find them as filling so I'm definitely a firm believer in like fueling your body so porridge is just the one for me see doesn't this just look absolutely banging I won't lie I did get this idea concept off of saffron because whenever I go over she always feeds it to me it's so good but I know that saffron does hers with protein powder I do mine with Nutella I should probably do protein because I'm obviously dancing all the time, but like I'm just such a person where like I've just got no brain cells to think, mm, yeah, I need to eat protein. But yeah, I'm just gonna dig into this now. Really excited, love this meal. And then also do take this time in the morning to go through like any messages that I've missed or like um, what I need to get done in the day, like make a little list for myself as well as um, obviously see what my manager's saying in terms of what I need to do. Like for example, at the moment we're talking about this ad that needs to be done, but I don't think I'm gonna get it over till tomorrow morning just because like I need the evening section to film and edit. So yeah, I'm just, just doing my little like business bits and bobs, but yeah. <laughs> And I've just got ready for my first lesson, which I've got contemporary. It's very basic, it's all black, it's simple, um, but I'm comfortable and I've got a sports bra on. I don't know why, I just told you I've got a sports bra on. And then I've also got my ballet stuff with me, which again is all black. I think I'm going for a theme today. So I've got my black tights, got my skirt, and then I've just got this leotard, which is backless. I love this one so, so much. It is inside out, but I'll obviously pack that in my bag, get changed in the break. The last thing I literally need to do is just like pack my bag so that in involves chucking my laptop in there getting a bottle of water um hair wise i literally do this like sometimes i'll secure it with two bubbles but that is normally my hair done and then maybe like some grips here because my fringe bits always fly out so yeah i'm gonna put my bag head out the door and i guess i will see you when i come home for the evening routine type situation but yeah i definitely feel like this is very like realistic kind of morning routine because I feel like it's very basic. I get up, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, I get ready, I have my breakfast, very, yeah. I kind of wanna like make my morning routine a bit more lavish, like maybe put some lemon in my water in the morning so then it's good for your like, digestive system. So maybe we should do like, we'll do this video and then maybe we'll do like a morning routine glow up. A glow up morning routine, no. The routine will glow up, not me, cause that's impossible, joking. Okay, right, see you later. Look who's back. Got a little angel. For a husband. Mm. He didn't care what weather you said, did you? Yeah, I did, husband. Hey, normally you like freak out when I say that. I don't care. You're my hubby.
I am so excited for this. Um, do you mind you better eat it now. No, I am. I am. So excited for it. Can you get the parmesan out of the fridge though, please? Yeah, I was going to put you Legend. Okay, so I'm going to put you up here because the lighting's better. We discussed this morning that the lighting is so bad in here. But night routine, let's go. Um, so obviously, as I was saying, my muscles are already seizing up. I need a shower. So I am indeed gonna do exactly that. I was maybe planning on putting some oil in my hair this evening. Um, one that I really like to use is the Beauty Works Argan Oil, just because it's really meant to be like replenishing for your roots. Oh my God, this is so stuck in my hair. But I think because obviously I washed my hair last night, I don't wanna go do that because I don't wanna wash it tomorrow. I wanna wash it like the next day. So yeah, I'm just gonna chuck it up in a bun now so it doesn't get wet whilst I wash my body. But I feel like me as a person, like my night routine, I'm so basic. I love watching TV. Like, I can't really sit there and like be on my phone. Like, I've got some editing to do. So again, like, that's the thing with my morning and night routine is because everything kind of revolves around dance in terms of my structure. My morning and my evening routine, it genuinely in include like things to do with social media that I don't get a chance to do in the day. So for example, it was Tuesday that um, I'd gone to dance, then I came back, did a load of ad work, and then I'd literally get my pajamas and go straight to bed. But I just sound so basic because I'm literally like, I get up, I get ready, I un-get ready and I go to bed. But it's fine. Okay, and just like that, I am feeling so much more fresh, but oh my god, I'm looking like a little baby right now. This isn't okay. If we're going on to the next steps, that's obviously skincare. You guys know I love my skincare. My skincare is actually really quite simple, and that is thanks to Skin and Me, because everything that I need is in this one bottle. And you're like, Imogen, how, how does that work? Like, I feel like nowadays, because we have so much access to, like, knowledge of what our skin needs and wants and benefits and etc etc i feel like everyone feels as though they need like this 10 step skincare routine trust me i'd love to be able to do that but the fact that you can get everything in one bottle like why would you not but yeah thank you for two skin and me for sponsoring this little part of the video um but yeah skin and me is a completely personalization brand um even the bottle has my name on it which is so cute i don't know if that's backwards I don't think it is, but I just love this so much. Uh, the way it works is that you go online, you fill out a little questionnaire basically saying like things that you want to improve in your skin or like how like how you're struggling with your skin, uh, skin type, that kind of thing. You also send off some photos of your face. Ugh, if anyone got those hands on those photos, they were awful. It was like pure mugshot. It was like left, right, and center. I was like, that person thinks they're gonna see a ghost, but it was just me. Then through this questionnaire, you get top access to skincare experts, and they basically tell you what you kind of need, and they put it all in one bottle for you. So for me personally, I've got um, niacinamide and salic acid, because you're gonna be like, Imogen, what the hell are you on about? But I have recently seen like fine lines appear, and you might be like, oh my God, like that's such a drama queen thing to say, but for me personally, it's just gonna make me feel 10 times better knowing that I'm doing something something to prevent slash slow down the process um, and I've been loving this so so much it is completely waste free as you see you get everything in there and you get the perfect amount when you squeeze it up look at that it is just such a convenience like everything is in one bottle I might sound like a broken record but like I can't get over that so I apply this on my face and I'm good to go I don't need to stand here doing loads of steps and I don't want to blow smoke up my ass but like my lifestyle is very busy so this is just so so perfect all the packaging is fully recyclable as well as being vegan and cruelty free the product is designed by dermatologists which means you get expert care without the wait time without the cost as well you can't get these ingredients over the counter so to be able to have this delivered to your door at such a great price but yeah another big thanks to skin and me um for sponsoring this video let's get on with it i feel like i've told you guys about this panel before in my uni talk but now i'm just gonna like <laughs> it feels really awkward because I'm trying to talk, but then I'm also scaring to talk this way. Basically, a to-do list of everything I have tomorrow. Otherwise, I do. I'm. St I just forget. Like I'm so forgetful. So yeah, and just gonna cut my hair for me because I can't see behind my head. Oh, oh, oh.